Why is Bob scared to retire? This We need to do a deep dive psychological analysis here because it's not just Bob. I get all, emails like this all the time. Anyway, on my uh, website here on the Heritage Wealth Planning, this is dated uh, February 18th. Yeah, I'm just getting to it now. But anyway, he's 64. He's going to retire in June. His wife is already retired. They got no debt. They're going to receive 100000 a year for us in pensions and Social Security. They got 500000 in mutual funds and 600000 in savings. Why do I feel nervous? Should I be? All right, so the, the obviously the snicker would say, dude, what the hell, man? You got 1.1 million in assets, you got no debt, and you got 100,000 guaranteed income. What could you possibly be nervous about? But there's more to it than that. We don't know what his expenditures are. Now, for me, I know they're not very high. I, he didn't email me, I just know, why? Because anytime you got a pension, uh, that means you've been staying in your work for a number, at least 20 years, I mean, most likely. So that means you've been just you know, plugging away, plugging away, keep your head down, saying yes, sir, no, sir, plugging away, plugging away. Uh, that means you're a good worker, a good laborer. You've done what you're told. You keep your head nose clean and you just do what you got to do to get the job done. And the fact he's got no debt as well, which means they don't spend more than their um, income. is. So it's just no two ways. So we can see this in my way. They don't spend more than their income, thus it, because they have no debt. And he's willing to stay and his wife in a job long enough uh, that shows a level of longevity, which is typical in people who are not spendthrifts. I'm telling you, the people bounce from job to job, from house to house, those people are generally spendthrifts. And that doesn't mean they're bad or anything, but they generally have a high budget uh, for, for spending. There's just no toys around that. The people who just stay put, stay put, stay put, typically are the ones who are not as inclined to be spendthrifts. And the fact he's got no debt, I guarantee his $100,000 a year in benefits are going to cover his income, guarantee, uh, spending guarantee. I don't know. Uh, that's not even touching into his $1.1 million of assets. But here's the issue. Bob has never retired before. He's not just scared about retiring. He's scared about this is the last stage of his life. Work provided us a level of security that we we're still young enough to work, which is to still have labor. And it's scary, dude. To go into that great abyss called retirement means you're getting out of your job that you've been doing, many of us, since freaking 13 years old. And now you're not going to have that anymore. It's freaking scary. I don't think this is financial scary. I, Bob's be fine, dude. I mean, I don't know how much he spends. Maybe he's freaking crackhead. I don't know. But I mean, come on, he's gonna be fine. The issue is, I'm nervous not because you're worried about the spending, it's because you're worried about what happens next. What happens next, man? It is scary. It's okay to be scared. And all these people, you need to know your why. I hate that crap. I've all, you need to know your number and your why. I've always hated that stuff. Because how would you know what your why is until you're in the middle of doing something? Like, I don't know what my why is. I know I like to garden. I like to friggin' grill ribeye steaks. I like to hang up my pups and whisper sweet nothings to my better half. But, I mean, I also like to go to minor league baseball games. I like to go to the beach every now and again. I like to read. I love to read. I kind of like to write. can't say I love it. I, I can't say I enjoy it, but um, I do it. Point being is that you don't know, why would what would your why be like? I mean, unless you know, I want to freaking, my man Jeremy Rose uh, yeah, up there in Maine. He takes out the freaking engines from an old Jeep and puts in his new Jeep and all this stuff. He loves that stuff, dude. He showed me pictures. Very proud of his modeling of the Jeep. So that's freaking awesome. Has no appeal to me at all, man. None. But I like to get out there and get, I just planted some more... Uh, uh, I had some more sprouts that come up in my, my grow beds that I have inside, you know, to get, so in the wintertime, I like to plant some seeds and get them going, get them going. And then it comes March, I put them in the ground out there. So I love that stuff. Jeremy might not like that, but I mean, what's is my, why that to go out there in the garden? Yeah. I wouldn't say it's my, why is that my reason to live? Not necessarily, but that's something I enjoy. Anyway, the point being is I wouldn't retire just so I can go garden all day long. Cause you know, but there's only so much you can do in a small backyard garden um but for bob here he's like i'm 64 dude i'm a, I'm a man i've been my whole my whole life has revolved around my job 
and now the job's no more. It's freaking scary. It is. And I wish I had an answer for you, man. I wish I had an answer. Um, but financially, you're fine. It's just going to be, what do you do mentally when you have all this time on your hands? And this is the issue I think we have in this society where everyone is like so politically focused. Like, what's Fox News? What's CNN? Man, that that's not going to do you any good. What's the last time you actually read a book? I'd invite Bob to say, you know, he might, I don't know. I've been talking to this guy. I don't know him. But when's the last time you actually got knee deep in a book that challenged your orthodox, if that makes sense? You know what I'm saying? When was the last time you actually said, huh, let me look at a video that's of interest that seems kind of odd to me. And I'm like, my man, let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's my man, John Levi's channel. What do we know? A bird's eye view of history. Welcome to Peru's World tra Fair Transition Period. Problem history. I mean, when was the last time you actually looked at stuff? And John, what he does, he goes, he goes out there exploring the various uh, sites, uh, archaeological, historical sites, and he just finds all, and he just, you know, he unplugs all kinds of wonderful information. I'm not saying it's what Bob's got to do, but when's the last time he just did something outside of what you're normally doing? You know what I'm saying? And uh, and I don't know, man. If 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 because a lot of people don't have any hobbies. They their hobby is work and watching football. And it's scary to go into that great abyss because it means you're getting old, but it also means you're separating yourself from what you've been your, um, the way you can define yourself for 40 years from man. <laughs> it's scary. I just encourage you to find something to focus on that would maybe get that, that gray matter in that brain of yours to say, huh, that is of interest. I'd like to pursue that more when I retire. How cool would it be to go to, um, what do they call it? Um, Grab, we'll go to Gravity Hills throughout the United States. As a place where the land of surrounding land produces an optical illusion, making a slight downward slope appear to be an uphill slope. Thus, it seems like anti-gravity is actually, that's fake. It's not because we actually have people put levels out there who show they're going up against a mountain, even though it looks like they're, it looks like they're going up. But they're not. It's really going down. No, they got people with levels. It's actually pretty interesting. Um, and you can try. There was a couple here in Georgia. I, I tried one. I couldn't do it. It didn't work for me. I'm not. It was on a main highway. So I was like, yeah, I tried it real quick. And I said, this kind of makes me nervous. But how cool would it be to do something like that? The slope of the gravity hills is an optical illusion. Although sites are often accompanied by claims that magnetic or supernatural forces are at work, the most important fact contributing to the illusion is completely and mostly obscured horizon. Now, again, this is what they're trying to tell you. There is more at work than just optical illusions. We know that because people have taken levels and they can show that they're actually going uphill against gravity in their car. It's freaking fantastic. I love that stuff. Anyway, he just, and that's, that's, so this guy's fine. I mean, there's no reason to be scared unless, again, he's freaking light cigars with $100 bills, but I, I don't think he's doing that. He's got more money than he needs by far in a way. He's got pension, social security, a million and a half, 1.1 million. He's got no debt. So you just got to get out there and find something to have fun to do and i don't know what it is but find it and if sometimes that makes breaking out of your cage of saying uh, i'm gonna go look at an anti-gravity hill but i'm scared just freaking do it dude go like hike national trails i mean so much stuff out there is waiting for your presence all right love your thoughts we'll see you